Question, have you ever found yourself in a situation that can only be described as painfully, devastatingly awkward? <laughs> where did they find that clip? Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you just wish you were invisible? Like now? Ah, that's better. Now I can play with myself and no one will notice. Uh, Frederick, we can still hear you. Oh, you can hear me? Yes. <laughs> Awkward. Have you ever wanted to reach across the table to bitch slap someone because you couldn't believe the stupidity of what they just said? Or have you just lost all faith in humanity as a whole? I like chicken. Chicken! Then this video is for you. It's all about awkward moments. An example of an awkward moment would be you're out minding your own business on the street and someone waves at you from across the street. You don't really know them, but you feel obliged you should wave back and not be so rude. <laughs> Hello. Until you notice that they're actually waving at the person behind you. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <coughs> awkward. Or perhaps when you're talking to another human being and as they're talking to you, you see a piece of spit come straight out of their mouth and onto your arm. Mmm, tasty! You can see in their eyes that they know they spat on your arm. You glance at the spit. They glance at the spit. You look up. They look up too. It's just the natural progression of the situation you've gotten yourself into. But to be polite, you both pretend it never happened. And from then on in, all you can concentrate is the temperature of that warm little piece of spit that landed on your arm is now getting cooler. Taste it, taste it! Another awkward situation is telling somebody how you are, even though they didn't ask. Oh, hey, Ted! Oh, hey, I'm good, thanks. H how are you? I'm... <laughs> I'm good. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Ooh, you can slice that awkwardness with a knife. With so much awkwardness in the world, one must learn how to prevent a certain situation like this. And some smart people in this world have figured it out with the use of simple technology. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. You go to that house party you're invited to and get there a little bit earlier than your friends, so you don't really know anybody. And things are getting a little bit awkward. A way to prevent this awkward feeling would be simply to whip out your mobile phone and start texting. Now you're not really texting, don't be silly. The only reason you're pretending to text is so everyone in the room assumes you have friends on the way and you're not really as nigelated as you look. There are some desperados of you out there who actually pretend to be talking on the phone. Yes, hi, yeah, Tommy, can't hear you, mate. Yeah, music too loud, party's just cranking. Yeah, there, yeah, nah, no, no, heaps and heaps of people, eh? It's just out of control. It's down with the kids, dude. Yeah, nah, awesome. Really awesome. Really. Nah, it's awesome. Now, to make things doubly awkward for you, those friends that were meant to meet you at the party on time but are running late and therefore put you in the first situation of awkwardness, they're just about to ring you on the phone that you're pretending to talk to. Yeah, Tommy, nah, look, I uh, seriously can't hear you, bro, nah, look, the party's just cranked up, hold on a sec, hey, hey, can you just turn the volume down? Yeah, mate, I've got friends, eh, hey, I've got friends on the phone, just a little, little bit, yep. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, mate, yeah, Tommy, I can't, I can't. But as you YouTubers know full well, good things and awkward things come in threes. Yes, of course, I'm at the fucking party. Where the fuck are you? Listen, there's no one else here. I fucking know. You guys were meant to be here with me at the same time. Now I'm stuck with a bunch of fucking losers. Oh, he's talking about us. You mean you got your cock stuck in a fucking blender? Oh my god. Who invited him? I've got to go. Yeah. They're looking at me weird. I don't know who he is, but Fuck. he's such a loser. <laughs> don't you agree? How you doing? Ew, don't talk to me, creep. Motherfuckers. So I guess this goes to show that to prevent an awkward situation could 
turn into an awkward situation on its own. Therefore unpreventable. That didn't even make sense to me. I'm just going to keep talking. How very awkward. His name is Frederick. Hello? Ah, oh. hi mum. Yeah, no, they're in the underwear drawer. Second one down. Yeah, they've got a, yeah, a skid mark on them. Can you just put down some powder on it and wash them for me? Thanks. Yeah, um, I'm at a party. It's cranking drugs and, and bitches everywhere. Yeah, mum. Yeah, don't, don't wait up for me tonight. <laughs> I can assure you. <laughs> Don't you make me go stab you, man! I'm gonna kill you, man! I'm gonna kill you, man! Yeah, nah, I can't hear you, eh? Look, oh, shit, shit's going down at this party, mate. Oh, look, um, Gerald's back there with the bottles smashing, like, psh, psh, psh. You hear that, man? Yeah, they're smashing bottles and shit, bro. Hello, Martin. Hello, Friday. Having fun, Ed. Gab Granada, this is Shitter, the worst taker of the lotter. Stop him now. Hey, yeah, no, nah, can't, can't talk on the phone right now. Yeah, nah, I've got, I've got penis discharge. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes.